Hello, I'm Wade and welcome to the Underworld. This video is to show the position of the sun during sunrise, midday and sunset from my location in Eastern Australia. Here's the iPad currently recording the sunrise time lapse for the video. Here's a quick little pan around of the position I'm in for the sunrise. It's a gravel car park in a place called Boat Harbour. It's on the ocean side of where I live. It's about a 10 minute drive from my home in Nelson Bay. And here's the exact position of myself and the camera during the sunrise time lapse. This is the view from the camera on the iPad set up for the sunrise time lapse. As we can see, the camera is pointing at about 115 degrees, a little bit east of southeast. So we can say east is about here. I will do a follow up of this video and go more into depth about the locations and talk about why I see the sun south of the Tropic of Capricorn during sunrise and sunset. Here's a clue, it's because the Earth is a globe. I made this video because there's a lot of people that actually think this isn't happening. But this video is just to prove it's actually happening. Here's the official time and date of the sunrise, the 12th of January 2019. This whole video was filmed all on the same day. This is a screenshot from the Sun Surveyor app which shows the direction the sun is rising from a location. Notice how the sun is rising in line with the edge of these rocks here. And there's the edge of those same rocks in the center of the shot. I've been waiting all year to make this video to show how the sun rises and sets south of my location during summer and how the sun still curves around my northern sky. Okay, here's the sunrise time lapse. I recorded the time lapse in sections because the iPad sometimes stuffs up if it records too long, hence the cuts and transitions, and it got a little windy. But this clearly shows the sun rising from a southeasterly location and heading towards my northern sky. And the atmosphere seems to be having no effect on the sun's size or location. The flat earth idea of a personal atmospheric dome would be completely distorting the sun. While the time lapse was recording, I walked out here on this small headland and did some footage and photos because, well, it's beautiful. This is the midday footage. This is the midday screenshot from the Sun Survey app from my location. I did the midday footage in my backyard, so I'm not going to show the exact position for obvious reasons, but my yard is still pretty close to that green location marker in the center of screen. But this still shows that the sun has curved around into my northern sky as predicted in the Globe Earth model. I made a crude sundial, not really to show time, but to show the sun's position. I set out north as close as I could. It's still the same day, Saturday, January the 12th, 2019. We have daylight saving time here, so during summer, solar noon is at one o'clock. <clears throat> okay, midday time lapse, a go. Now that looks like evidence of the sun moving through my northern sky. And just to prove that my um, rod is vertical, Here's a little pan around and one final view to show the sun is in my northern sky. There we go. I know the angle is high, but the sun is in my northern sky. And here's the setup for sunset. A nice view from the lookout to the southwest. Here's my exact location. It's a little sort of secret spot that the tourists don't really go. There's the iPad midway through recording the sunset time lapse. And here's a quick pan around to show where I am. There's all the tourists over there. Here's the Sun Surveyor screenshot that shows the sun setting at about 243 degrees or a little bit west of southwest. The communication towers were playing havoc with the phone's compass, so I used the ball compass here to show where west is, but even it was having a little bit of trouble. Here's the view from the iPad just getting ready to start the time lapse. Still the same day, Saturday, January the 12th, 2019 at about 7 p.m. Whoa, that sun's getting close. <laughs> One last check with the compass in front of the iPad. It shows that west is about here. But just quickly, here's a photo I did from my house a few days earlier. This shows where the sun is. And anyway, you get the picture. Okay, let's do this. Three, two, one, go. 
Now we can see the sun in the southern hemisphere is moving down to the left or south and definitely not moving to the north like the flat earth map shows it would. See the sun's glare get smaller then as it went behind those clouds? Weird, huh? And there goes most of the glare and bye bye setting sun. Now while the sun was setting I zoomed in with my new camera and got some pretty cool footage that clearly shows the sun appearing to go down and definitely not getting smaller as it sets. I had to do a little camera adjustment here but I'm pretty happy with the footage the camera was able to get. Another beautiful globe earth sunset.